I can't <laughs> believe this. Just a water bottle. Uh, can I, Gigi, can I see them again? have been so wonderful. Sometimes when we roll up to theaters, I get very worried because we're in the part of our career where we like to do, I mean, it's, I mean, it's dancing, like we like to do like, <laughs> And sometimes when you roll up to a theater, you're like, oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. Cause they're not gonna get like, but a lot of, <laughs> thank you, ma'am, you laughed. Uh, I try hard, I, for the first time in my career, I stood in front of a mirror, I was like, what does this look like, exactly? <laughs> Put on boyfriend. Or... <laughs> um, and I was like, that doesn't look great, but you know, with lights in this outfit, it's better. So, um, three people up here who make everything they do look incredible. I want to take an opportunity to introduce you to them at the end of the show, so you don't forget their names and don't forget their faces. Over here, I don't even know where this whole new stage set up. I'm like, where do I stand? You're so tall, it doesn't matter. I could stand anywhere. I won't be blocking you, but, um... <laughs> doing just so many things back here. Sometimes I catch him. I can't even look yet. We haven't played together long enough. Sometimes I see how many things are happening. Plus, he sings with us, which helps so much. <laughs> because if I had to join another band, I am not good enough to do any of the things that he does effortlessly. Would you give a huge round of applause to the talented Gabriel McNair? Look at the little angel that just fell out of heaven. I'm Tegan and Sarah. Okay, I'm gonna save you for last, Eva. Damn right. Look, there's like a, a bobby pin up here. There's like some grass. <laughs> Okay, I thought that was funnier than you guys did. That's fine. Um, where should I stand? Over here. Okay, on the drum kit. Basically, if I could be a guy, I would be this guy. Mainly, the first thing, he's been playing with us for a few, how many months now? Three, four? Four months? Right away, one of the first things I noticed about him was that he never wears sleeves. And that's me. Like, that's me. I have gone to see an acupuncturist, I've gone to see a specialist about the heat. I can't even tell you how much heat comes off my arms. Like, not like, like, I just mean actual heat. And then this guy rolls up and he's always just like, ah, I take my jacket off. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> so hot. Oh. Oh, I can't wear this jacket, I'm so hot. <sighs> and I was like, look at him, and I was like, oh my god, that's me. <laughs> Always rolling in, everyone else is like 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius, whatever that is, and freezing. And he walks around here. How's everyone going? <laughs> <laughs> that's me flexing. I know you can't tell. <laughs> the second thing I noticed about him is, is that he always seems in a good mood. It's really annoying. <laughs> Then after about a month of playing together, the third thing I recognized is that he's a really fucking fantastic drummer. Woo -hoo! Like me. Also like me. So if you could, not just for his arms or his incredibly charismatic personality, if you could also just give him, like bring down the fucking house for this incredible drummer. three times as long as what you said. Sorry, <laughs> is it, are you punishing him because he's on my side of the stage or? You know, to be fair, it was mainly because I made it about me. Brendan only got about as much time as you did. The rest of it was about me. All right, last. I've never introduced you before, Eva. I feel like nervous. I don't know why, but I do. In all the time that we've been in a band, the only women who have ever shared the stage with us is each other. We've never had a girl on stage with us, a woman, a grown lady. Which do you prefer, <laughs> lady, woman, or girl? Depends on the day. <laughs> During her 
interview to join Tegan and Sarah, Sarah's cat fell in love with Eva. <laughs> Do you guys follow us on social media? Do you know our cat, our, our cat Sarah's cat? Okay. I won't think it's rude right now if you pull out your phone, if you don't follow us on Instagram and find us and then start following us because Sarah's cats are really cute. But they're kind of assholes. Like they're a little aloof and snobby. They give just little bursts of love and attention, but I've known them for a year, and I'm a really good aunt, and I've taken good care of them, <laughs> and I have never seen them do what they did to Eva. <gasps> Mickey, the black and white one, he stood on his back feet, like, like on his feet staring at her, and Holiday <laughs> got on the couch next to Eva, edged over, rolled onto her back, let herself get scrubbed, like kind of put her head on her leg, she was just like looking into Eva's eyes. <laughs> as we interviewed her. It was crazy, Sarah was so jealous. <laughs> so we hired her, never heard her play, didn't matter. <laughs> Holiday loved her, saw some YouTube videos, I was like, she seems kick-ass. Then she rolls up to rehearsal, she learns 25 songs. Like 10 days? 11 days? Guys, do you understand how incredible that is? <laughs> I'm looking out all my material. These will get shorter as the tour goes along. I'll just be like, Gabe, hey, Brandon, Eva, let's go. Moving on. <laughs> Would you guys give a huge round of applause? <whistles> no, not for Holiday. That's not nice. Also for Holiday and Mickey. A huge round of applause for the talented, lovely, and apparently cat whisperer, Eva Gardner. <laughs> All right, we're gonna wrap this shit up. We're gonna play one last song, we're gonna leave the stage, pretend it's over, you're gonna cheer enthusiastically, we're gonna come right back and play My great aunt Helen, mine, our great